Hello friends, this is Math Guru Pawan Vag. Our today's topic is Similarity Part 1. In this topic, we will study about ratios of the areas of the triangles. In 9th standard, we have studied about the congruency and the similarity of the triangles. In this chapter, we will study about the properties of the triangle. Based on those properties, we will study about the basic proportionality theorem, BPT, or we can also call it Thales theorem. Basic proportionality theorem ko hum Thales theorem bhi kehte hain. Pythagoras theorem. Let us recall the formula of area of triangle. That is, area of triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 into base into height. Let us draw one acute angle triangle, one right angle triangle, and one obtuse angle triangle. Draw all altitudes of these triangles. देखिए सबसे पहले ये जो हमने draw किया है, ये acute angle triangle है. AP is altitude on side BC, BQ is altitude on side AC, and CR is altitude on side AB. Triangle DEF is a right angle triangle at angle E. Here DE and EF are perpendicular on each other and EK is perpendicular on side TF. It's a right angle triangle. Triangle XYZ is obtuse angle triangle. You can see XM is perpendicular on YZ. This YZ we have extended because it is coming outside. Similarly, this XY also extended till here and this ZJ is perpendicular on XY. Means when we take base YZ, the height will be XM. When we take base XZ, XY, the height will be ZJ. And when we take base XZ, the height will be YN. Here, we have two triangles. That is triangle ABC and triangle PQR. For triangle ABC, the base is BC and the height is AE. And for, for triangle PQR, the base is QR and height is PT. So the area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 upon 2 into base into height. So the base of triangle ABC is BC. At the place of base, we will write BC and at the place of height, we will write AE. See here. Now, area of triangle PQR, the same formula we will write 1 upon 2 into base into height. So for triangle PQR, the base is QR and height is PT. So we'll write the value here. At the place of base, we will write QR and at the place of height, we will write PT. Now we will take the ratio of areas of triangle ABC and triangle PQR. So here area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR. We will write, we'll put the value here, 1 upon 2 into BC into A, this one upon 1 upon 2 QR into PT here. This 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 will be cancelled. We will be having BC into AE upon QR into PT. And what is this? This is the base here. If you see A1 upon A2. A1 is the area of the first triangle. A2 is the area of the second triangle. BC is the base of the first triangle. AE is the height of the first triangle. So we have written B1 into H1. Similarly, we have written B2 into H2. Hence, the ratio of the areas of the two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of their bases and corresponding heights. For the triangles with common base, here you can see triangle XYZ and triangle YZW. Here the common base is YW. So what we will do, we will find out the area of this triangle that is XYW and YZW. So here, you can see this part is common. It is the base for both the triangles. For upper triangle, the height is XY and for this triangle, the height is ZU. So area of triangle XYW upon area of triangle YZW is equal to B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. What we have learned in the previous slide. Now here, B1 that is base 1 and base is YW and height is H1 that is XY. Here we have put the value upon B2, the again y, YW into ZU. YW, YW will be cancelled. We will be having XY upon ZU. 
Okay. Now we can write area of triangle XYZ upon area of triangle YZW is equals to XY upon ZW. So what is XY upon ZW? XY is the H1 and it is the H2. So here we can write H1 upon H2. Hence the ratio of the areas of the two triangles with the same base is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights. So when the base is the same, then the ratio of the area of the two triangles will be equal to the ratio of the heights of the two triangles. So A1 upon A2 is equals to H1 upon H2. Now for the triangles with the common height or same height. Now we talk about the same two triangles where common height or same height. Here there is triangle PQR and triangle PQT. Look, this is the triangle PQR which is the base QR and height PS. And for triangle PQT, the base is QT and the height is PS. Again, the area of PQR upon area of PQT. So for area of PQR and upon area of PQT we will write B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. So what is B1? B1 is QR and H1 is PS and B2 is QT and H1 is again PS. PS PS will be cancelled with QR upon QT. And what is QR and QT? QR and QT are the bases. So we can write B1 upon B2. Hence the ratio of the areas of the two triangles with the same height is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. So, when height is equal, when height is the same or common, then the ratio of the area of the two triangles will be equal to the ratio of the corresponding heights. So, now we have seen two types of this. One is the same height and the same base. Now, let us see the, for the triangles, with the common bases and equal heights. Now, let's talk about this triangle. जिसके बेस भी कॉमन है और हाइट भी इक्वल है हियर यू कैन सी एम एन इज पैरल टू पी क्यू सो दैट एम पी एंड एन क्यू आर इक्वल हियर देर आर टू ट्राइंगल्स एम एल के एंड एन एल के दो ट्राइंगल हैं आप देख सकते हैं उनका बेस एल के कॉमन है और उनकी जो हाइट देके रखी है वो आपस में इक्वल देके रखी है नाउ द कॉमन बेस इज एल के नाउ वी कैन राइट एरिया ऑफ एम एल के अपॉन एरिया ऑफ एन एल के so again B1 into H1 that is LK into MP upon LK into NQ. LK LK will be cancelled. So we will be having MP upon NQ. MP or NQ to hume pehle diya hai ki that is equal. So we can write area of triangle MLK upon NLK is equal to MP upon NQ. So at the place of NQ we can write MP. MP MP will be cancelled. We will be having 1. This we will multiply here, cross multiply. We will be having area of triangle MLK is equal to area of triangle NLK. And this thing we have studied in the previous class, in the ninth standard we have studied the triangles on the same base and between the two parallel lines having equal, they are equal in area. Hence the triangles with the common base or same height and same height or same basis, we can say that their area is equal. So, when their base and height are equal, if their base is common and height is equal, or if their height is common and base is equal, then in that case, their area will be equal. Please watch our next video based on exercise 1.1. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.